Yeah. I'm back at the Chiang Mai airport, ready to go back to the United States of America. It's gonna be a long flight. We're talking about three different flights from here to Singapore, from Singapore to Frankfurt, then from Frankfurt to New York. Looks like a shopping mall in here. You're hanging out with my boy Iron Man. Have you guys all seen this flight information board right behind me? It's kind of like where you find out where your flight is and what gate it's supposed to be in. Check this thing out. And this is so far one of the coolest things I've seen at any airport have. This makes it really easy to find out where you're at. Boarding pass, boarding pass in. All the flight info right there. B2, let's go. Made it to my gate right on time, just enough to get a quick charge at the charging station. Something you have to keep in mind when you're traveling is that power sources or power plugs are very different in different countries. In this case, they have three rectangle prongs. Your American standard plug will not fit in it. Your charger will not fit in it. Luckily for us, uh, they do have USB, which is worldwide universal. A little tip I wanted to share with you guys was before they start calling the names and the seats and the, the first class, business class people, what I do is I go up there and I talk to one of the guys or the girls, depending on who's there, and I kindly ask them, uh, hey, what seat am I in? I always know what seat I'm in uh, because my ticket says it. I ask them and they go, oh, it's in your ticket. I show them the ticket, they show me the, the seat, and then I go, is there any way I can get a better seat? This question is asked to them many times a day. Um, depending on their mood, they'll hook you up. Usually when you ask, the best they'll bump you up is the exit row seat, which has a lot more legroom. Totally worth it when you're going on any flight that's over two or three hours. You might have a middle or an aisle seat and want to get a switch to a window and they'll do it for you right then and there. All I'm saying is there's no harm in asking. The worst that can happen is they're gonna say no and you're stuck with the same seat you would have had anyways. And I have gotten lucky enough to get bumped up to business and first class on certain flights and certain airlines, depending on the mood of the person that's behind that counter. Trust me, it works. This is gonna be a 13 hour flight, so so you're gonna have to get comfortable. Just landed on my connection flight. I have to go out back through security again uh, just to get on the same exact airplane I was just on. Weird, but I know. Woo. What? I just got stopped because my iPad registered some sort of explosive material. That's right, explosive material. That's where they do a little paper swipe on your uh, equipment. They ran the test through and it came out positive. So security runs over, the police run over, and of course I can't film any of this. I have my camera inside the box. And they asked me some questions. Where was I? How long have I had this iPad for? So I had that iPad for about seven years. They go, can you turn it on? I turn the iPad on. As soon as it turns on, they smile and they walk away slowly without saying a word to me. And the one guy that's there with me, he goes, okay, everything good. Like, what? What? How cool.
cool is this sliding door? Look at this thing. Check out this water pressure. Now, I don't often film in the bathroom, but no one's in here. It's pretty late here. But check this out. I've never seen this before. You pull this paper. You dry your hands with it. Alright? And you let it go. This is our last flight until we are home. Really excited to get on this one. Uh, note to self, it is 30 degrees back in New York, so I will have to put on a thermal. The crew's outside right now and they're doing something called de-icing the plane, where they take these big huge machines and spray some liquid on it. In some cases, if your flight is not completely packed and sold out, there might be some empty rows available and you're able to move around. In this case, I moved to a three seat empty row. Three empty seats means three extra pillows. What I like to do is I like to take all three pillows and make one big one by using a blanket. Give your attention to the video screen in front of you. Just kidding, I'm not going to sleep yet. Alright, we are back home. I know this was a long one. Something cool that a lot of people don't know about is the mobile passport app. Now this app allows you to register uh, through customs without having to fill out that little slip that you always have to fill out and you get to cut the entire line and go through your own line for just mobile passports. A lot of people don't know about the app, but oh, looks like they're promoting the app. Check this out. It's right in front of people's faces, but they never do it. Because you get through so fast. And I'm gonna prove it. As you can see, everybody behind me is going through all these lines tons of lines behind us we're going straight to mobile passport which a lot of people still don't have so i made it through with the mobile passport and yes only three people here why because we all use the mobile passport that's how fast and easy it is the only problem is we have to wait for our bags now <laughs> and we're out and back home so mariah should be outside waiting to pick me up as we speak so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my thermal back on and go outside and see if i can find her just got outside mariah's waiting for me but I think we're going to have to cut this vlog a little short. Ooh, it is pouring. All right, guys. It was fun, but I'm out.